Well, good day everyone. Today I want to talk to you about a really groundbreaking product. Uh, you get that game changer all the time, sort of um, if you watch YouTube videos and all these sort of things and reviews, but I think this actually is. Uh, I use continuous lighting an awful lot and this one really is going to change the way that I shoot. Uh, I got asked uh, by Digital Photo and also I think they're in collaboration with this Ink E as well uh, to show this light and I really am amazed at what this little thing can do uh, and I'll talk to you about the whole thing about how this works uh, soon but being a wedding photographer and also videographer it's great to be able to keep everything down to a minimum amount that I have to carry around well this in particular is great because it's so small but really quite powerful um, it's it's a complete system built in it will even charge your other devices like if you are carrying around wireless goes and things like that and you can just do that through the USB slot uh, here uh, you could also charge you know phones and things like that up as long as you can attach a USB in here it, it'll charge them up uh, it's a complete system in the fact that it's got a Bowens mount that's on the front here and you can have all different type of attachments that we'll have a look at uh, in a minute. Now the kit came with this and it also came with a charger that you get. It, it came with a USB lead. Um, it comes with a really quite nice bag if you wanted to keep it in that. Uh, and a little instruction manual here as well. And it even comes with a really cute little Bowens mount attachment. Now where this is so brilliant is the fact that if I wanted to attach this at the moment, I can just simply come into here and then I just sort of, there's a little clip that you see on the side here that if I clip down, it won't come off. And that's how that works with that. But of course you can put any other size Bowens mount on there as well and I'll show that uh, a little bit later. But, you know, you can sort of use it if you wanted to like this. Um, or you can put the little Bowens mount that you've got in there and then it's locked in. Now the other amazing thing about this is if you want to connect a larger mount to this you just have to open these up. And then you can add your large Bow Bowens mount which I'll show you now, I'll just go and grab one. You can then stick in your normal Bowens mount push it over to that side and then lock in again so that this won't come out. So then you could be using a larger uh, mount. You could have beauty dishes if you want to. I've got uh, Bowen's beauty dishes in there and also I'll show you a larger attachment that is, is connected to it as well that they sent me as well. Uh, I'll look at that separately um, a little bit later on. But you know it's fantastic. Now it's completely waterproof as long as you cover the back um, here which does come with a little attachment which I think I've already lost um, but that's the only part where water could get in so I probably advise if you were say using it outside and it was going to be wet I'd probably tape that over or something to make sure that you didn't uh, get water into there but apart from that it's completely waterproof again if I wanted to take this off I can just undo the lock there that just stops you from having this connected and then you can take that out I'll take some measurements and show you with a light meter what sort of strength you're getting with this the other thing I've got too is I think it's an octa um, attachment that I'm going to put on as well uh, that will obviously take power away uh, but I'll, I'll measure all these things and give you an idea about how they work uh, you've got full control over your color as well between you know your whites and also warm type tones um, so you've got full control over that uh, it's not an RGB one which means you can't select all different colors but you can certainly balance it to inc incandescent light and things like that which is really good as well um, I'll show you how the controls work in a minute and then you'll sort of see how this actually works Works. But you know you've got little screws on this so you can attach multiple ones of these together and I'll show that in a little bit where I'll show you on the website how this can sort of all work together. Now I'll show you how this actually works very very simple. Uh, to start the unit all you do is you just turn it once and you'll notice it comes up with a lock thing there. If I do it again it then opens up so you can then have access to it. As you can see here it does sort of give you a guide on the top through here about which way you go if you want to go plus or minus through here as well it shows you what to do it even gives you a hint about what you do when you turn this around as well but I'll, I'll show you that in a minute now to bring up the um, intensity all you do is you just go like that and you'll see it's gone one percent two percent etc so it'll go up in percent increments if you do do it faster it will jump up in higher increments so there are multiple ways that you can do this depending on how fast you 
you move this it'll go up in 10% increments or like I said you can really uh, bring it up fast as well if you want to. To go down obviously you just go around the other way like that until uh, that goes down to zero again. So that's in your um, light mode. Now if you want to change the color what you do is you will rotate this and hold it and then you can see now it shows up the Kelvin there and then you can just turn this to get the Kelvin that you want. Now it'll go all the way up to 6500 and it will go right down to 2700 there that you see uh, and then obviously you can balance it between the two. That's what I love this for is because you can balance the incandescent light uh, to match whatever you're shooting as well so that's terrific. Uh, and then it will just come back to its normal and then you've got your power intensity after that as well. So it's very, very quick if you want to do it that way. Now with the modes, all you do is you just twist it and hold it and then you'll see you've got your modes that are showing through here. Each mode has multiple sort of variations of it. For instance, if you look here, you've got mode two, which is flashing mode. You've got three of those that you can do. Then you've got lightning that you can do here and change those. So it changes the intensity. You've got your TV flashing mode, uh, a bulb mode, and that's an SOS mode as well. And if I take it right back down again, um, back to one, it'll eventually go back again to just where you can operate the unit itself. Now you'll notice on the unit itself, at the top here, you've got a battery indicator. Uh, next to that, you've also got the percentage of your battery left. It's 98% here. That will show you your um, battery voltage, which is 16.7 um, volts, or 16.8 actually. Then you've got your time. Now, at the moment, it's showing here that we've got 24 hours. That's because I'm on zero intensity. If I turn that up, it will obviously go down. But uh, you get two hours at full power, so you get an awful lot out of this. If you attach a USB device to this, it will actually change, and you'll see the numbers through here as well will go, will change as well. Uh, what you'll get is it'll show the input output power through the bottom here. It also shows it when you charge it as well. Uh, I'll just see if I can plug it in and see if it um, comes up. It should. So you'll see now that there's numbers sort of showing now. So it's showing that it's it's been charged with 2.4 watts. Uh, and the other numbers, I can't see, oh yeah. The other numbers here are five volts and it's also got 0 0.48 amps as well. Um, so it's terrific. So it shows you everything that's working. It'll show you how the current is going in and it'll also show you the current that's going out too. Now I've also been sent this remote control as well, which is really good. Uh, very, very quick way of, of turning it on and off. Basically, if you do that, it'll go up in your 1% increments. Off will go down. Here I've got the Kelvin, so if I want to change the Kelvin, I can just click into here to change that. Um, if I want to change the intensity, I can just go through here. You see that's one, two, then I can go back down again. This will immediately go up to 25% and it'll go up to 50, so it's one way of doing it, and that will go back down as well. So this one here just gives you some different temperatures, so it'll jump between some main temperatures there that you see and this one will go immediately to the coldest temperature this one will go up to the warmest temperature so you know it's a terrific way of just being able to get around very very quickly through this uh, I think it's terrific and that's working wirelessly I said if you're looking here you can see that uh, it's the build quality is fantastic if you're looking at this this is your dial to activate it you can see that it's um, showing the, the unit there as you see there um, these are your mounting screws that you'll see here that you can just attach uh, through there as well. And this is the little holder that will open up to allow you to attach things to as well. But the build quality is just absolutely superb. Alright, so let's just have a look. I'll take you through the website just to give you an idea about this um, light. There is six effects on it. I don't really use the effects at all, but if you are into video videography where you want to have some effects, you can use it. It has things like bad bulb mode, flashing mode, etc. I'm not really going to look into those because it's not what I do, but just be aware that they are there if you want to use them, uh, and you can get some quite nice effects for video. So there is two versions of these. You can see here that there is a daylight version. Obviously then all you will be able to 
the control is your power intensity. There's also a bicolour one, which is the one that they've sent me. Um, and then you have the benefit of being able to control the power as well as the colour temperature as well. Uh, and that's a, a really great feature. I personally would be buying this one because I love to balance incandescent uh, lighting when I'm sort of shooting outside and things like that. If you want that warm light, you've got it available there. Just to show you some things here that you can adjust the bicolour one from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. It just says too that uh, the daylight one, when the battery is higher than 50%, it can be overclocked by 150%, which is the equivalent to a 90 watt globe. Um, and it's saying it's 3698 lux. Now I'm not sure if this one has the same feature as that. The bicolour one, like I said, has the advantage of being able to shoot very cool and also very warm as well. So you can match that sort of ambient light that you get there as well. And it's just showing you the colour temperatures that it will range from. It's also got a very high CRI. It's saying here that it's a 95 plus CRI index and it's a 96 plus TLCI index as well. So it's very, very accurate. Now this is the uh, what I showed you before about how it, you can add the larger Bowens mount type lights on. Uh, you can just open this up. If it's closed, you can put that smaller uh, one on or you could just leave it without it on at all if you wanted to work that way and travel very, very light. Now it has a built-in 142 watt hour battery. And this is the amazing part because you can use this to power other devices. But it's saying here that it, you get about two hours under full power of 60 watts. So that's quite a while if you want it to run at full power. In fact, it's one of the longest that I've usually had. A lot of the ones that I've got only last about an hour, but this lasts about two hours. It will support up to 100 watt fast charging as well. The other amazing feature about this is that it supports up to 100 watt discharging. And you can see here that you can charge multiple devices from this. You know, you could charge your cameras, phones, you could uh, charge your Rode wireless goes and things like that, even a laptop. And you can all run that from the USB-C. Now these holes that I showed you on the side, uh, you can mount multiple lights together. This would be really amazing if you wanted to get some real great power. And you can see here that they're using it uh, with all of these lights together joined by the holes that you see on the sides here. Now there's multiple ones of these that you can attach to so you can sort of uh, attach them wherever you want to put them um, and then you could use something like a diffuser like what they're showing here as well. It does have fans built in which will cool it down so it's got that as well you can sort of see an idea about there uh, where the fans are attached and it just sort of shows here like how big it would be in your backpack uh, if you were carrying it around like that. Like I said, it really is an amazing piece of kit that you can stick it onto your backpack like that and travel very, very light. You know, there is a, a fair bit of weight in this though due to the batteries and things like that in it, but uh, it doesn't feel overpowering, but there's, certainly you can tell it's a, a solid bit of gear. It's also uh, showing how you can use it in water as well. I haven't tried that yet, but I certainly will if I'm shooting out in weddings now. I wouldn't have to worry about getting flashes wet or anything. Uh, like I said, you've just got to be careful with the USB uh, hole at the back here, attachment that you, that's covered up. And then obviously you can do it for multiple uh, scenarios. Because this has a Bowens mount in it, you could use different diffusers. I've got one of these uh, type of adapters that I'll put on and I'll show you how that works uh, when I'm lighting up my little model. <laughs> I've got a, a dummy in there that I'm going to be using and I'll show you how that sort of works as well. So it's just showing sort of different scenarios where you could use it. Now if you wanted to get an idea about the weight of this, it weighs one kilogram, so that's how much it weighs. And these are your dimensions if you wanted to sort of check how the dimensions are here as well. Uh, in the uh, contents, like I said, you get the light, you get your lampshade, storage bag, your charging cable and a quick start guide. Now you may not get that looking at that, so that might have just been something that I got extra. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what you get. Uh, I've got this early on, so obviously I think if you want to get the charger, you'd have to probably buy that as an extra. Okay, so what I thought we'd do, you'll have to sort of excuse the audio because this is in my studio, uh, which is a big area, uh, and I'm just using the wireless go now. But I thought that I'd leave the lights on just because of the fact that then you can sort of see uh, what's going on, particularly with the autofocus on the camera. But um, this is quite dim. Now, if I use my light meter, I've set my light meter at 100th of a second. Uh, due to the fact that I'm recording 50th on the camera there and I've got ISO 100 and the reading that I'm getting in this room is 0 0.56. So um, 
1 one hundredth of a second, ISO 100 and 0 0.56. So you can see that the lighting in here is very, very dim. Now I'm going to start adding the light just to sort of see what sort of power we can get from it. Uh, so we'll do that now. I'll stick the light on a tripod, uh, on a stand, just so that I can move away and check the light intensity as well. Okay, so what I've done, I've just put the light over here that you can see. Now I've got it exactly two meters away. I measured it with a tape measure. So it'll give you an idea about how this will work. Two meters is quite a usable space, particularly if you say dealing with um, shooting, you know, portraits and stuff like that. I might even try and go back a little bit later and just see what I can get for full body on this. Um, I showed you what the light readings, uh, readings were before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this under 1% and immediately you'll see there is a difference. Now this is 1% and I'm just going to now turn this up until it gets to its full amount. I'll step out of the way just so I can check what it's doing. Two. That's 20%. 50. 50. and 100%. So that's 100% at 5600 Kelvin. So it's giving you an idea now, it's blowing everything out completely uh, there. But I'm just going to take a quick test just to sort of see what that is now reading. And I'll bring this down so that you can... So that at 100% in this room at ISO 100 has given me 2.2. Uh, so I've actually got 2.2 um, at 100th of a second. So that's not bad at all. So if you were shooting with a 1.8 lens, you could actually work at that distance uh, and get a, uh, well, you could even set it at 2.2. Now, obviously, if you want to push the ISO up here, if say, for instance, if I wanted to go to 200 ISO, I've now got f3.2. Uh, if you wanted to shoot at f5.6, I can go up to, well, f5. So if I wanted f5 at this distance, it is, it is um, for ISO 500. So it gives you an idea. So it's quite powerful, uh, in fact. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll test it again, but I'm going to put that little um, reflector on there just to see if it alters the power at all. So I'm going to, again, obviously the exposure is going to be off on the camera, but I'm going to turn it up and just see if this little reflector makes a difference. So I'll go up to full power again. So it was 2.2 before. Now if I measure it, it's gone up to 4.5. That's made a massive difference. So just putting that reflector on alone has given you 4.5 at um, 1 one hundredth of a second at ISO 100. So that really is quite powerful. Now I might move it back to sort of see what reading we can get for the whole body uh, with this little reflector on there. So let's take it back to a point where uh, I'll go back to four meters and we'll have a look. So it's, you know, it's, it's a long way away. So uh, I'll turn this on to full power. Now before at two meters it was uh, 4.5. So let's have a look. Be interesting to see how it scales. So it's F2. So if you were dealing with wanting to shoot this at that distance, uh, you've got F2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these figures and just see, see how it looks. So what it's saying here is it's actually saying that I'm on 100th of a second, uh, ISO 100. So let's take it down, where are we? ISO 100 um, and F2. So let me just click on that. Let me change it to F2. So it's it's sort of showing that. It still looks like it might be a fraction a little bit overexposed, but boy, that's quite powerful. In fact, I can probably even bring it down a little bit more. So what I thought we'd do now is we'll have a look at the softbox that they sent me. So you can see that it's a Bowens mount on this so it'll easily attach to the light. So what I might do now is I might just try this. I've opened this up. Very, very simple. You just basically pull the uh, little latches up and to undo it you just press on the back uh, on the back here to take it down. So it'll take a couple of minutes to put together. Um, the diffusers and the grid will go inside but I thought first of all I'll try it with it like this just to sort of see what effect we get with it uh, with this lovely um, silver reflector that's inside it. So we'll try that now and see what readings we get.
Okay, so now I've put the reflector on and I've measured it and it's exactly two meters away from uh, little Susie over here, or big Susie, she's <laughs> taller than me. Um, now it's gonna be interesting to sort of see what intensity we get with this uh, being on. It should be a little bit softer because it's much wider now. Uh, but I do like these uh, as they are like that without any uh, diffusers in them because it does give quite a nice contrasty type look which can be used in fashion quite often. Um, so what I've done, I've still got the settings uh, on here that I used before which is 100th uh, of a second. I'm on ISO 500 so I'm just going to see what type of reading we get at 2 meters away with this. So I'm just going to turn this on and I'll take a reading. Now that's interesting, so it's actually f5.6. So again, I'll adjust the camera here so you can have a look at it. So it's actually quite an acceptable result uh, looking at this. So this is giving you an idea about how that looks. Now I've got the diffuser in now. Now you'll see straight away that the background now is nice and soft. Uh, that's because I've used a double diffusion in this as well. I'm curious to see what type of power I'm getting out of this. So if I grab a, a reading now, it's saying it's at, uh, I'm using the shutter speed is still the same at 1 100th. I've kept the ISO at ISO 500 and I'm getting 3.2. So in fact, I could drop the uh, ISO down if I wanted to. So I could go down to say ISO 160 and I'm getting 1.8. So I'll put those figures in. Let's just have a look at what I can get. So looking at that now, I'm down to 1.8. So it gives you an idea, that's two meters away. So look, this has really surprised me actually how usable this is. Uh, it's a very, very powerful light. Uh, and like I said, you can have two hours of working time at full power. Uh, I really think it's, it's actually wonderful. So what I might show you now too is I'm just gonna change the color so you can have a look at the differences in that as well. Let me move back here and I'll change the white balance so you can have a look. So I'm going to go down, uh, I'll take it right down to the lowest. So that's, that's the coolest setting that it will go on. Now if I bring it up to the other way, you're gonna see how warm it goes. So then you're getting quite warm now, which is 2700. So this is the way that you can balance it when you're outside if you're working with incandescent lighting. You can just balance this until it will look okay in the camera and it matches your ambient exposure. So that's, you know, it's a great way of doing it. Uh, and get your results really accurate that way. And, and it's fun too because I'm using the remote control here. I can be changing this as, you know, as I sort of sit here and change this however I like. So the beauty too of being able to do this is I could just be walking around, have this all on a tripod if I was working on my own, or if you had a couple of them, you know, to be amazing because you can have one as a hair light, etc. Uh, now on the remote control too, I can just change the intensity of the color here. So if I click onto here, you'll see that it will go quite cool. If I go onto here, it will go immediately up to the um, warmer setting as well. Uh, and you've got ones that's sort of in between. So, you know, you can set everything from here, which is really good. Now, the great thing now is that you can just walk around with this. So you can sort of see that I've just got it in my hand and then you could be moving it around to get the lighting that you actually want. Now, at the moment, if you're looking at this, this is without the um, grid on. And I'll put the grid on in a minute to show you how you can sort of tailor this light even more. But, you know, like if you had a couple of these, you could have one behind to light up the hair and then you could have another one over here. And perhaps if you had three, you could even have then another one for the full body as well. So, you know, you've got a lot of control. So what I'll do, I'll just put the grid on and I'll show you how that gives you much more control as well. Because if you look at the spill in the background that's happening here, you can see the shadow there. I should be able to get rid of a lot of that. As you can see the shadow is much less now and I can really control. It, you get a much sort of harder light and it's more directional without the spill that's going out through the background. Uh, if you look at the background, you can see now it's really only just lighting up Susie here and it's not getting the background really at all. Uh, and that's one great way. I use the grid an awful lot because I love having that control and stopping that spill from hitting the background. And you can see it works wonderfully in that regard. What do I think about this? Look, it's wonderful. In fact, I just wanted to leave this on just so that I could show you uh, this as well. So this is the larger reflector that I use and that they sent me. Uh, you can sort of see how it's attached through here as well. Let me just turn this off. Um, now to get it off basically all you do is there's you just undo this little part here and then this will just slide off like that. So it's off. Then you can just close these down if you wanted it to be you know as small as possible. So, 
What do I think about it? I, I actually think it's wonderful, and I, I think it's probably the best type of this sort of light that I've ever been given or used. Uh, in fact, it's the size, I think, that is so beneficial with this. Plus, it's quite powerful, as I showed uh, with the light reading. So. Uh, I like to show it in real-world scenarios, that's why I thought I'd show it with a light meter, so it gives you an idea about whether it would be powerful enough for you. I love the fact that you can control the colour as well as the brightness on this model, and I love the fact that you can mount it to these all individual mounting uh, points here. It, it is all a metal uh, casing, so it, you know it's very, very well built, and like I said, having something that I could use in the wet weather is fantastic that I don't have to worry about taking this out, apart from covering up that little USB uh, slot there. They do give you a little cover that you can put over, but I'll probably put tape over too or something like that to just protect it if it is very wet. But having that ability to go out and shoot with it constantly like that, even the glass at the front you see is protected, so the light there is protected as well. I think it's wonderful. Build quality is amazing. Um, and I can't wait to use it in a wedding shortly. Uh, thank you so much, Inky, and also um, Digital Photo for sending me this. Really appreciate it. It's certainly something that I'm going to be using uh, a lot in the future. If you have any questions about this, leave them down below. I will also leave some links where you can get this from as well. Um, I think it's around the $300 mark US, uh, so it's very reasonable for what it is. I love the fact that you can charge up your other devices with it as well. And to have two hours of, of runtime with this at full power is incredible. I think the only thing that I could fault possibly with this is that you do have to be careful about when you're putting your adapters into this that they do sit correctly. So it can be a little bit fiddly to take them in or take it off, but I would easily take that for having that ability to, you know, keep this down very, very small. I, I think it's wonderful. Um, apart from that, guys, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much, Inky, and also Digital Photo for sending me this, uh, and I certainly will be using it in future shoots. I nearly forgot to sort of tell you about this, actually. Uh, this is another thing that they sent me. Uh, they said, would I be interested in looking at it? Let me just take this out and show you what it is. Because I think it's really cool. I'm always losing these screws or having trouble tightening them down and things like that when you're dealing with your cameras and tripod mounts and things like that. Well, that is, or even, say, with your rigs, if you're doing things like from small rig or whatever, your camera rigs, uh, cages and stuff like that. Well, this is a whole system of things that you can use uh, to help you. It's got all of these different screw attachments that you can use in here. It's even got all the Allen keys that you can use through here as well. Uh, and then you've got all your different screws that you can use for your uh, mounts for into your camera. And these are what I often use when I'm dealing with cages and things like that as well. And you've even got a little adapter here that you could attach to, you know, like a key ring or something like that. So you've always got that to work with uh, as well. But this is fantastic. Uh, it's really good. It's quite solid too. It, the, the case is actually metal that it's on, uh, so it certainly is built strong, but great thing to just keep in your case um, as well. So, you know, let me know what you think about that too. So that's also from Digital Photo as well. So let me know what you think.